State remains on high wildfire alerts. Crews with Lake Travis Fire Rescue hope they make it through the season flame free. KXN's Brianna Hollis shows us the terrain challenges firefighters face there that make them particularly concerned about a fire sparking. Can burn really quickly. A triple digit afternoon in Lakeway. The sun beams off the windshield of a fire truck and the department's assistant chief of operations walks in right, with so a suitcase. So uh, I'm normally a 40 hour work week employee assistant chief of operations, but with the conditions like they are, I've packed three to five days worth of clothes because there's a good chance I'm not going home at some point. We still think we'll be in the triple digits. The extended 100 really degree end. forecast means all hands on deck. Just the men and women in the fire service know that this is that time of year where we have to kind of put plans aside and serve our community. It's not just the fact that the dry ground and plants and leaves pose a fire concern. Firefighters also have to deal with the hills out here. We have a lot of hills, rolling hills that it's hard to get to with brush trucks. And so when a when a fire kindles out in some of these canyons and hills, it takes us a while to get down to them and get to them. And so they can move rapidly. More than a dozen fires burned more than 1200 acres through Central Texas this month alone. Guards were on fire. This was all on fire. One of them in Cedar Park, taking several buildings with it. The Lake Travis area so far has been spared, but crews are still at the ready because the current conditions make the potential perfect storm. We had a lot of rain early in the summer. And so a lot of the grasses and natural grass and flowers and stuff got really thick and then in a matter of a month dried out and now are just laying there primed to be burned. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And the fire department says anyone who wants to can ask crews to come perform a wildfire risk assessment on their homes.